Hey guys, it's Matt from Tech One Biomedical Services, and today we're going to do a short video on how to clean the condenser coils of your cryostat. Now, the condenser coils are a big part of how the refrigeration system works, and if you keep them clean, your machine will run a lot better. So, if that's something you feel like you'd be interested in learning something about, stick around and watch the video. Thanks. Take a look inside the coils of this cryostat and you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. There's a bunch of dust that's collected over the years and it can really make the refrigeration system strain. If you want to try and remove the dust yourself, there's a few really good options for doing it. The first would be just a good old fashioned brush. Now this is just a cheapo paint brush that I bought at the local hardware store. And what you're going to want to try and do is pick the dust out. So you're trying to brush it out as opposed to forcing it further back in. This is a brush that came with the Microtome. It works nicely. And here's a bottle brush. And when I use these, I'll slide them down and twist them at the same time and it'll pick out the dust. Of course, the vacuum cleaner is another really good option for cleaning the coils. You would just suck the dust out. And if you happen to have one of these brush attachments and you could put that on there, I know they don't match up, but you can use that to help get some of the dust out as well. Another good way to remove the dust is to use compressed air. Now this is a uh, canned air that I got at the uh, office supply store and I would just use this and spray it through and it would force the dust out of the coils. This is an electric version. I got this online. It does a very good job. It actually does a better job than the canned air. Um, so it's another option. The big downside to using compressed air is that it really blows up the dust and can make a real mess in your lab. At our shop in Franklin Park, we have a big, big compressor like they would have in a uh, auto shop. And we're able to use a nozzle like this to really get some air going through those coils and really clean them out real well. Here's a can I got from my refrigeration supply, and it will do the trick, but I really don't recommend it for somebody who's not refrigeration trained. Um, in addition to the fact that you might do some damage to the fan, there is a fan behind here. Um, it also smells pretty bad. Um, the one thing you don't want to do is use water, because that will definitely gunk things up and potentially could get into the electronics behind here and really make a mess of things. Wow, those coils were really dirty, weren't they? Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below or give us a call. Thanks.